morning everyone welcome to today's video of vlogmas it will again be a double decker video holding wednesday and thursday posted on friday so happy freaking friday to you i am jealous that it is friday for you <laughs> and i've gotten a much later start to my day because i was out late picking my dad up from the airport and dropping him off at home and I got home pretty late and so I slept a little bit later and I got to talk with my mom this morning. Actually, mom, you're probably watching this. Hi. <laughs> In all of these videos, I feel like I do something different every morning, which is so weird because I felt like I had a routine until I started recording myself and I realized I don't have a routine at all, but I kind of like that because it means that every day is different. But yeah, so that's what's going on now. I thought I would just say hello this morning and I have no idea what the rest of this day will entail and hold. Hey, so I just got a package in the mail and I wanted to open it up with you guys. I started to open everything and then I realized, wait a minute, I should record this. So I ordered a macrame piece from my friend who owns a company called Bees Booth. Her name is Nicole. Let's see, let's get this. There we go. So yes, this is her and she's on instagram as the bees booth anyway so we've been following each other for a while and we talk a lot because we well she is still a teacher and i was a teacher so we talked about that but i ordered one thing from her and i have received three things so let's see what's in here this is the thing that i ordered i'm pretty sure and it's really cute because it is wrapped up in some macrame cord which is very on brand she is a macrame artist oh my goodness it's so cute so, as you can see, it's a Christmas tree. <laughs> I love this. It looks so nice. Wow. Let's see what else is in here. Is it a plant hanger? Oh, look at that. That is so pretty. Look at the wood, the little wood ring. This is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Nicole, thank you. I was not expecting this. Wow. <laughs> and there's another one. Let's check this one out. It's a double hanger. Ah! <laughs> Look at how cute that is. Oh my gosh, and there's these wood beads in them. Leo, what do you think? That is so cool. Nicole, thank you. I don't know if you're watching, but I'll let you know that I featured your prod in my video. Well, I cannot wait to use these. I'm gonna hang this up right now. I know exactly where I'm going to put it. All right, so here is where I have a macrame piece that I made hanging. It's actually meant to be a macro weave, but I never got around to the weaving part. Wow, check it out. That is so nice. I need to turn this light on because it's so dark in here. That looks so nice. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So I'm sitting here just freezing my butt off. Yes, I'm not talking to you, Leo. I'm talking to the camera. And Leo has been laying on his stomach. And I put my hand in here. <laughs> and I felt how warm it was. So now he thinks I'm petting him. But really, I'm stealing his warm. <laughs> he has no idea. But he's so warm. Sometimes at night, when I get into bed after him, he's like built up all of his warmth. So I just like stick my feet on his body. Because <laughs> I'm so cold. <laughs> but you have no idea, Leo. You have no idea. You think that we're just bonding, huh? Hello, you guys. It is now the evening time, and I have kind of come to terms with the fact that today is a hard day for a lot of reasons some of them related to what I mentioned previously about the holidays being a little bit difficult um, but it just isn't a good day for me it just hasn't felt like a very healthy headspace so I am going out on my own I mean I spend the whole day by myself at home but for some reason I feel so much better when I go out and do things even if I still am alone. And like, I just know that with my mood right now, it's not very productive for my relationships. So I'm just choosing to go out and take myself on a little date. I'm filling up my car with gas right now, and then I'm gonna go and 
have some Thai food by myself and I brought a book. My friend and I are actually reading this book together. For some reason, I keep craving Thai food <laughs> just constantly. So I'm gonna go get my fix and I'm really excited. stuff look at this a bunch of huge monsteras like there's so many of them and they are fifty dollars but honestly these are huge and they look really pretty wow everybody I have very recently rolled out of bed and I am going around in my bathroom checking on some plants I said that I was gonna try to be more mindful about including plants in these videos because sometimes I just do these things and I don't even think about it so I've gone around and I have checked on all of these babies in my bathroom and I have identified a few of them that need to be watered so I actually just watered this one before I realized <laughs> that I needed to record it. But I basically realized that the leaves were feeling super thin, so I decided it was time to water. I don't believe that I watered it after I repotted it. This is a new leaf that has come out. It has kind of halted at this position and hasn't unfurled anymore, so I'm hoping that once it feels comfortable, it will continue. <laughs> and so yeah, I'm just gonna go around and touch all my plants and see how they're feeling. This one feels like it might need water based off of this leaf, but I also know that that's the newest leaf, so it is gonna feel a little bit more flimsy. This one I watered just a few days ago, and I think that this is another one that I'm gonna need to water. But yeah, that's what's going on right now. And I will tell you that I actually use distilled water for all of these plants. Not for the philodendrons, but definitely for the anthuriums because I just really don't want to risk anything happening to the foliage in addition to whatever else I might do to them. So I just figure that if only a few of my plants need distilled water, that's okay. So I usually keep a cup around or I'll just bring it in if I don't have one in here already and I'll put them in the sink and I will water them. Uh, most of the pots are pretty small. The only one that I would water in the bath is the big mama up there. And oh, also I water my Calathea arborfolia with distilled water. You guys, I am just shocked with how amazing this plant is doing. I cannot believe it. Like this leaf is so big and it is extremely tall. As you can see, it is a much taller than all of the rest of them. And I keep checking in here to see if there's any more growth coming in and there isn't, but oh well, I can dream. <laughs> um, usually with this plant, I let it dry out you know, honestly, pretty near completely, and it has been really happy with me since I've been doing that. This is the extra little baby that I got sent to me by Oscar at Plant That Plant, and the new leaf that was coming in came out, and it is so tiny and cute. I love it so much. I can't wait for more leaves to come out. I wonder where it will come from, <laughs> but it's very cute, and it has gotten bigger over time. I thought that it would stay super, super tiny. I don't think that it'll get as big as this one, but it is, it has been growing, so we'll see. But this one needs water a little bit more often than the others just because the pot is so tiny. Oh, geez. 
Okay, so there were a few plants in there that I felt needed to be watered, but actually turns out they didn't. Usually if I'm unsure, I will stick a moisture meter into the plant or I will just stick my finger into the moisture, not into the moisture meter, or I will just stick my finger into the soil and see if it feels moist still. And there was a bit of moisture still in those plants, so I am going to wait maybe a few more days. Also, I should address my outfit. <laughs> this is my nightgown and it is very warm and everybody makes fun of me for wearing it in a nice way. We're all friends here. If you think it's funny, that's totally fine. Just know that I'm extremely warm and you might not be. <laughs> yeah, huh Leo, tell him. Tell him, Leo. So I've been feeling like I should have some sort of end of the year routine for my plants. And so I asked you guys on Instagram yesterday what you do. Um, maybe like if you have a regular cleaning schedule for your plants or just a regular whatever. So I got quite a few responses with a lot of different stuff and I was very, very pleased to find that. So I am definitely going to be maybe making a video about that. Let me know if you guys would be interested in an end of the year or like plant cleaning schedule. I don't know, plant cleaning routine. Um, I am interested in doing one myself, so I might as well record the process, you know? But I'm gonna show you some stuff that I got to replenish my stash because I didn't have these things anymore because well, I used them all and then I haven't needed them. So first, not at all connected to maintenance on my plants like cleanup, but I picked up some Super Thrive because I'm very interested to see what this does for my plants. I know that a lot of people that I really admire use Super Thrive and it's working for them, obviously. So I thought that I would try it out. It's, I think it's a little bit different than a fertilizer, but yeah, if you use Super Thrive, definitely leave your experience in the comments down below. I'd be very interested to hear. I picked up one of these and it is a pressure mister, I think. And basically you just fill it with liquid of some sort and then you amp up the pressure and then you spray and it sprays for a long time. I saw this on Kaylee Allen's Amazon Favorites video and I was like, you know what? I probably should just get one of these because it would just, it would help a lot in the long run, so I grabbed one from a local spot. It was like $5. What are you eating? What are you eating? Okay, don't see anything in there. The next thing I got was insecticidal soap. I love insecticidal soap, it works really well. It's like a natural, it's not a pesticide, but it's just like a natural solution. So I got this and also I got some neem oil because gotta get that neem. And everybody always complains that neem oil smells really bad. And I don't remember it smelling super bad. It kind of smells like citrus to me. Like it's not a terrible smell, but I think if my house smelled like this, it might be unpleasant. So anyway, that's the stuff that I got at the store yesterday when I was on a little date with myself. Yeah, I'm gonna be seeing what I can do about an end of the year houseplant routine. Leo is the cuddliest dog in the whole world. He would stay in bed cuddling for hours if he could. I mean like up until the moment that I am getting up ready to go, he is just sitting there like laying across my body. He loves to sleep and cuddle, especially in the morning. He's very, very cuddly. At night he's not cuddly, but maybe because it's a little bit colder in the mornings, he's more keen. I don't know exactly what it is, but clearly he does not really want to be held right now. <laughs> so we're gonna go feed Leo and then I'm going to start my work day. All right, so I have finally mustered up the energy and the desire to fix my grow lights because things are getting out of hand, my plants are starting to lean, and I pulled out the toolbox to get a screwdriver, just a screwdriver, and you know what I just did? I opened up the toolbox backwards, and now this is what I have. Can you see? This is absolutely tragic. This is usually filled with a bunch of stuff and it is now laying. Like all of this is supposed to be in that. But yeah, now I have to fix that. <laughs> Daniel, hopefully you don't see this cause yikes. Okay, so admittedly that did not go as I had hoped. I could not at all get the drill or the 
screw through the bottom of the cabinets. It must just be like really thick or strong wood. I'm not sure, but I just realized that that whole situation is just not going to work anymore. It is what is best for my plants, number one, and not what is the most aesthetically pleasing thing for me. So for now, I've decided to basically eradicate that bottom section with all my plants. So I relocated a lot of them to the kitchen windowsill and one of them to right here. I'm very sad, it was a really great setup. If the bottom of your countertops is not as slick or if you could just drill into the bottom, it would be perfect, it would work so nice. The grow lights, I loved. And I just need to figure out a different use for them now, if there is a use for them in this house. If there isn't, then I'll just store them away for the next time I need them. Yeah, that is the little update on that. That took a lot longer than I wanted it to, but I'll show you quickly just what I did. It's all cleared out for the most part. I'm going to keep these two here on this wicker couch and see how they do. I know that this one's probably gonna want more light, so I might be moving this to a different location. This is my philodendron brandy. Such a beautiful plant. And then over here I have my variegated monsteras. This cutting here, which hasn't done anything, but it hasn't deteriorated in any way, so that helps me to know that it's probably okay. And then here I have my Thai constellation, which is thriving. Literally so happy. So now I guess that was a nice lunch break and time to get back to work. Okay, so I'm now at Hannah's house, which is my old house. This might look familiar to you. It's uh, new and improved. <laughs> is it? <laughs> Hannah. I don't know if you guys ever met her. She was never home when I was filming. Plant people. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah's a plant person as well. Oh, yeah, lots of African violets. Yeah, she likes African air violets, plants. air plants, and she has most of her plants in kokodame balls. Very nice. And she's got some over there. Yeah. You guys will lots recognize. Of ferns. Yes. And we're currently reading, well, not reading, but we're talking about our book, The Queen of the Teerling. And it's really good. Yeah, it's very good. So that's what we're doing right now. And we're drinking tea. So Yay. just thought I'd update you about what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Check out Hanny's plants. Oh, yeah, there's this there too that's mounted. Look at how blue. Your blue cactus is so blue. Yeah. Uh -oh. And your little Hindu rope. Yes. This is a piece of a plant that we took. <laughs> from some landscaping yes. a long time ago. Oh, are these the pots? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are really nice. Market. Mm, oh, these are the ones beautiful. they're selling at Recon Market, these ones. Sorry, this trash. Oh, okay, I won't get that. Nice, I love them. You got a beautiful white ghost. Yes, thank you, Becca. Oh, is that one from me? Yeah, that was from you. It's gotten so much bigger. Yeah, this one, I had it grew, when I got it, it was this tall, and I've had it less than a year, and it grew like bigger than its size before. And these oh, are yeah. huge too. Those are huge, those used to be They little. were like the size of these. Yeah, little pickles. Yeah, that's crazy. That's super cool. Stuff's getting big, and my carry-on bloomed a while ago. Did I show you that picture? No. The meat flower. Ooh. Nice little staghorn. <sighs> Man, I miss living here. I miss this little place. We've got a really nice sky tonight. <laughs> oh man, that mountain view. That right there is Finger Rock. If you can see, it kind of looks like a thumbs up in the middle there. It's called Finger Rock. <laughs> <laughs> 